<clears throat> hey guys, this is Raider50 coming at you with a review for the Corporate Alliance tank droid. One sec. The exact, it is 7748 Corporate Alliance tank droid. Don't know if you just heard that, but that was the name of it. But, yes, it is 216 pieces, age of 7 to 12. Um, you know, it is really ages 7 to 12 because I'm 13. This thing was really easy to build. Um, yeah, it just took a long time to build the track. So, one of those hellfire tracks, very annoying to build. Uh, yeah, if you, it's time consuming to build it, but not super time consuming. Well, to the tank, let's start out with the minifigures. Um, something that excited me a lot was the fact that it came with two jet troopers. And there is a few disappointing parts of this set. I'm not gonna. S I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing that was not, which would be the size. Some people have been saying that the size of the set's disappointing. Well, guess what? That's a realistic size of a corporate alliance tank droid. So deal with it. This is realistically the size that it would be. All these people are like, well guess why? It's the the old one's bigger. Yeah, the old one wasn't as realistic as this one. This one's much more realistic. I like it a little bit more because the color scheme is a lot better in it rather than this neon orange. But yes, it's basically a regular clone with a jetpack, with a new jetpack piece, which I liked. It's okay. You know? I wish they could have actually made, like, a designated jet trooper. But, yeah, it comes with two regular old droids. Nice to have for a for an army that you're building. Yes, so. Enough with the minifigures. Let's get on to, well, I'll keep one of these jet tro troopers here, because there's something I have to show you before the tank. Well, a lot of people know there's this catapult that it came with. Um... It's okay. It doesn't fire very far, but here's a little test. Uh, here's a little show of what it does. Right, here's what you do. But it does not work well at all. Um, I think there's a way to do this. So you see, it really doesn't go very well. So I see it. Let's see. See, it really doesn't work. Let's see if it works better right, right like this. So far, whatever I've done, it doesn't work very well at all. So, if you want it for that playability, don't. It, that kind of brings down the displayability of the set. The fact that you can't use the catapult to actually launch the clones. But, no matter. I, I just use it for stop motions anyways. That will be me filming. But, onto the tank. It is impressive. All the features. I like that the fact the eyes can go up and down. Let's show this real quick. Both eyes can go up and down individually. They can sort of go out a little bit. Well, they can. They, don't, they can. It's just they risk falling off. You can't move this individually. This eyepiece. But it's very basic construction, actually. Um. Yeah. And then down to the tank tread. Annoying 56 pieces of these, longer than a hailfire tread. Very annoying to build. But yeah, I like this detailed new kind of piece they've got here. It's nice, very nice. Um, this piece actually helps turn. If you move this along the ground, it'll help turn the track. I work really good on Lego or this for that matter. Alright, let's see. It moves okay. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. There you go. It, 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 it goes okay. Good enough. It's not like you really need it to move properly. And, like, it has the... And these front little pegs can go up and down, like if it's climbing a hill or storming a base or something. It's got these things that can go up and down. And, yeah... Oh yeah, it has flick fires. Don't recommend using them. They're the same as the AAT flick fires. So here we go. Oh yeah. Note to self. Remember never to do that. Okay. Here we go. 
Look fire test. Just lost the range. They work well. I, I like to flick fires in some sets. This set really makes no sense, but you know, at least they're there. But yes, it's it's definitely worth the twenty-five dollars. I mean, not congratulations, Lego, for this twenty-five dollar set. Um, worth twenty-five bucks, especially if you're a corporate alliance tank droid fanatic like me. So yes. This thing I like a lot, and yeah, but um, playability eight out of ten because of this cheapo catapult, it doesn't work at all. Um, but actually, no, nine out of ten because it actually comes with clones it can fight rather than a lot of like this kind of priced range sets. <clears throat> it either doesn't come with droids or doesn't come with clones, which is really annoying. Which, because either you get a lot of clones or you get a lot of droids, so <clears throat> kind of ev evens it out. Um, yes, I like how I lean toward droids more because I need droids. Um, I don't know about some of you guys, but I need droids a lot. But this will help clones. I just take the I'll just take the jetpacks on them, give them to like some other cool dudes, like my swamp trooper. But yeah, um. Yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, oh yeah, rate this set 9 out of 10. I don't know what you would rate it. I rate it personally because I'm a Corp Tank fanatic and it was fairly easy to build and I like it a lot. Because it, it, the track moves fairly well. It's not like it's super bad. Um, building value, it's fairly simple and very easy. It's just time consuming because of the track. Other than that, um, these are easy to screw up on. Very easy. Um, yes, I screwed up on it once. And I'm like, wait a second, this doesn't go right. So I had to restart those completely. But yes, cannons, easy to build. Um, these can get annoying because you don't know if you built them equal. I don't, I'm not sure if I even built mine equal. But yes, other than that, this is a very easy to build set. Which, I love it. Lots of rare pieces, but I didn't buy it for the pieces. I bought it for the fact that it's a Corporate Alliance tank droid, my favorite Star Wars tank. So, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.